The IKEA free heating sofa is enormously popular and there are already thousands of assembly videos on YouTube. But even though this channel is mostly about real DIY projects, I have decided to add another assembly video, simply because all the other videos don't really show you all the possible mistakes and perils. By the way, I've bought the sofa with my own money for my own living room and I've not been sponsored by IKEA in any way. The Freehaten, <laughs> does that sound Swedish, comes in uh, three large boxes. I strongly recommend to handle them with two people. In fact, you should do the whole assembly with two people. And there might be better means of transportation than a wheelbarrow. First, unpack the boxes. Some parts are stored inside the chase section. You need to be decided on which side you want to install the chase. The sides of the chase that remain visible are covered with fabric, which is attached with Velcro. Then it's time to put up the arm and backrest. I put the chaise aside for now. By the way, the storage space has springs to hold the lid open and when it lies on its side, it might spring open when you bump into it. The arm and backrests are connected with two pins and this is definitely easier with two people. Now the chase is brought into position. Actually it would be screwed on now, but because I have skipped a picture in the manual, I have now tried to make the next step with the screws for this step. Um, that didn't work so well. And here you can bump your head badly. <laughs> Serious, I didn't even notice, but discovered it afterwards in the video. Oh, why don't I use my cordless screwdriver? In the last box there are the main seat element and the extendable ottoman. Here again I tried to use the wrong screws. Hmm. Then the feet are screwed on. By the way, they are made of quite hard plastic and left some scratches on my floor. Now it's time for the hooks, which prevent you from pulling out the pull-out part too far. And now for the ottoman. First the wheels are attached to the pull-out part and then the pins, which grip into the hooks. My specimen had one of them drilled wrong. I didn't want to go on another day trip to IKEA and try to mount them anyway, and it actually works. And, and that was basically it. All that's left to do now is to unpack the cushions. Okay, the sofa is ready. It has taken me about 15 minutes, but it might take a lot less for somebody less stupid. 
what I would really recommend to do is to sort all the small parts beforehand. That saves you a lot of time later on. So, next time is really going to be about a true DIY project. So, please subscribe to this channel and see you next time.